Welcome back, everybody. If you're following along with us on social media, we have an update today from Josie at Dan and Debbie's Creamery. If as a quick reminder, if this is the first time you've seen this, uh, the Takis family was our winner of the Way to Dairy Award in which Laylee gave them the, the winner an opportunity to choose between an A5 milking robot or our vector automated feeding system. And actually the Takis family painted their barn red. And Josie, we're into week two. How are you feeling and what are you seeing there at the farm? Yeah, so week two is well underway. Um, things are going great. The best way I can describe how this week is going compared to last is kind of like riding a bicycle. Last week we had our um, we had our training wheels on. Um, our FMS advisors were with us the entire week showing us the ropes and training us. And this week the training wheels came off and, you know, things are a little wobbly because we're, we're learning. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're pedaling through, we're solving problems on our own and the cows are continuing to learn and continuing to grow. And um, it's been a fun week actually, cause we've gotten a little bit more sleep um, and we've been able to just enjoy the, the benefits of the robots a little bit more. So tell our audience what robots you have in that barn. Yeah, so we have um, a fully automated barn. Um, we have two Laylee A5 astronaut robots that are doing the milking. Um, we have a robotic feed system called the Vector. And then we actually have three manure collectors um, or discoveries and they're going around the barn 24 seven, um, keeping the manure um, at a minimum and then dumping it into our manure pit. Awesome, so that Vector system um, went I think that started, you guys started feeding cows a little bit ahead of last week. Mm -hmm. um, so what tips or what have you found out uh, through feeding with the vector? Yeah, so we started using the vector one week prior to milking the cows and the robot. Um, we wanted to do that so that way we could understand and learn that piece of equipment a little bit um, in advance to learning the robots. And some tips that I would recommend for anybody interested in the vector is to start pre-planning as early as possible. Um, the vector is amazing. It's mind blowing that it can feed your herd 24 seven. Um, and all you have to do is stock the pantry or the kitchen. Um, but I think pre-planning is really important because your ration might change um, and you want to work with your nutritionist, your FMS advisor, um, and determine what crops you want to grow ahead of time. Because as all farmers know, crops don't grow overnight. You can't make a change. So you really do need to do some, some planning in advance to make sure you give your cows the best nutrition possible. So there in Eastern Iowa, what do you have in your kitchen or your pantry? Sure. Yeah, I call it the pantry. Um, some people, I think most people probably call it the kitchen, but um, we have corn silage, um, which is that entire stock of the corn. Um, we've got uh, haylage and baleage. Um, we also do roasted corn, roasted soybeans, um, both of which um, are really flavorful and the cows seem to love um, eating it. And then we do some unique things throughout the year. Um, some of the whey that's left over from our cheese making at our creamery, we bring back and it's a high protein um, packed liquid that we add into their ration as well. So we're doing some unique things, but um, we've always been really passionate about our cows and their diets because because um, we want our product to be the best possible. And I guess, what are you feeding there at the robot to complement what you're feeding at the bunk? Yeah, so we tried something a little bit new. Um, one of the things that's really important to us is that our cows are fed things that are grown here on our family farm. And so a lot of farmers are doing um, pellets um, in the robot as their treat, but we've decided to do roasted corn and soybeans. So we have something a little bit different. Um, the best way I can describe the roasted corn and soybeans is almost like a, a, a peanut buttery flavor, like roasting that just makes it crunchy. The cows seem to love it. Um, we have had to pull back in their uh, ration 
um, of the roasted corn and soybeans that they're getting at the feed bunk because we want them to feel really, really special when they come into the robot. So we've done some adjusting and there's been a, a little bit of back and forth on that. Um, but each day we get closer and closer to finding the right balance between what they're getting in their um, everyday uh, feed bunk versus what they're getting as positive reinforcement for coming into the robots. Well, Josie, thanks for taking the time today to give us another update of what's happening in week two. And I think as a takeaway tip for folks, again, what, what's your tip for, for the people watching and listening to us today? Yeah, pre-planning. I think, you know, if, if robots or anything with robotics um, is something that you want to do, start pre-planning now. So that way you can make sure you do everything the way you want to do it. Um, and there's a lot, a lot to learn. So pre-planning is definitely my number one tip. Thanks, Josie. Thanks, Juana. Have a good one. You bye bye. bet.